Should we sing our hello song? All right, here we go. Hello, hello. Rachel Lighty loves her job. I do. I love it. It's so great. Hello. She helps children who can't see or hear. We'll sing some songs today. Better interact with the world around them. Nice. It is so rewarding to me on so many levels. I get to see these kids progress in their goals. Feel the rhythm of the music. And come out of their shells and get to see their personalities like blossom. It's so cool. It's the coolest thing ever. Kids like Cameron. Good to jam out. Even if you're young, old, big or small, it's so it's good to jam out. Frozen? Oh my goodness. And Emery. Let's get our frozen on. I always like to sing. Don't let them in, don't let them see me the good girl you always um, before she was she just wouldn't really say what she wanted to do or give an opinion if she was asked. But now she's really like come out of that shell. Let it go, let it go. At the Mill Creek campus of the Utah Schools for the Deaf and Blind, they celebrate each accomplishment. Make a little music with your friends. He was totally moving my wrist. And reach high. Music way up high. For new goals. <laughs> Through music, rhythm, and vibration, and by taking turns, kids learn things they can take back to the classroom. Make little music up high. Make little music. Communication skills, cognitive skills, um, social skills, all of those other things that you don't really think about that music can help kids achieve. This student communicates by squeezing my hand. Does it make you feel happy? Yes or no? Yeah. So he had a target and he touched it. <laughs> he did need some help along the way, but that's progress. Rachel's been working with these students for some time now. She knows their strengths and works with their abilities. Some of them can hear a little, some of them can see a little, and they make sure they have fun. Make a little music with your friends. Good job, Nick. Because I love my mom and my dad and my sister. Her name is Bailey. Loves to sing songs that inspire her. Being brave and strong and flexing your muscles. Goodbye, Ellie. Thank you for making me. Yeah, like superheroes. They flex their muscles before they before they save people's lives. The cold never bothered me. Anymore. After all, superheroes come in all shapes and sizes. Some have fur. It's funny how some distance makes it. Some wear glasses. Me. Rachel's grandfather lost his ability to talk. Through music, he could communicate and verbalize words even when all else was gone. It's what inspired her to become a music therapist. Heroes come in all shapes and sizes. Some even wear a guitar. Let it go. Heather Simonson, KSL 5 News. Heather, thank you so much.